Welcome back everybody to season two in the Canadian Premier League. Except we're not in the Canadian Premier League this season, so it appears. Um, as you can recall, we won uh, the, the league last season and I think we finished second, I think, in the uh, autumn bit. But we won the championship, which hence was brought us into the uh, North American League stages or something like that, and uh, another championship. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's cracking off. But this season, we went. I played for you a few games already, and uh, I probably inadvertently have uh, played halfway through a season. Yeah, you've uh, you've heard me right. Um, it was very very confusing. Very confusing. We are not playing any Canadian Premier League games. This, there's no spring or autumn season. We're jumping straight into the Canadian Premier League Island games. Yes. Um, if anybody could pop down in the comments what happens, I uh, just please tell me because I'm really confused. I don't know whether they alternate between... Each season, or is that what the plan is? Each season to do a different league. I just, I, I just don't know. Uh, we've played some championship um, cup games, and we've played a North American game a qualifier already. Uh, thinking we might get some um, uh, fixtures coming through, but uh, no, nothing, nothing at all. So before I um, go through what we've done already and how the season's going to look. Um, let's go and have a look at a couple of the transfers that we have made. We haven't made a lot. Uh, for one, we couldn't get rid of a few players. And another one, we couldn't bring anybody in. It was really um, a really tough transfer window. Even though the transfer window was still the same uh, January to March or something like that. Uh, but we didn't actually play any competitive games until, until the April which is really, really uh, quite far away. So we had about four or five months where we really didn't play anything. So first of all, let's go back and uh, let's have a look at the transfers that we have made. And the transfer history is not a lot. <laughs> Offload Kristinovic Ensar. He's gone to Edmonton for £3,000. He wasn't really cutting it for us. He's one player that we did have a surplus of, so we had to just get rid of him, and he wasn't very happy either. So, And plus, we haven't got a uh, second team, so we can't offload him to the second team in order to get uh, experience. Corrales, we just released the one person, but apart from that, nothing else. But uh, transfers-wise, we made four transfers. We didn't spend any. Yeah, we've got all that transfer money. And we didn't spend anything. Right, sorry about that. I just had to do a quick change. I realised I was still in pounds and I had to change it back to a Canadian dollar. So so just ignore that for now. You didn't see it happen. Well, you probably want to wind back and have a look now because I've mentioned it. Anyway, <laughs> let's let's carry on. Murray Dona, free transfer, a right back. Uh, we had to get somebody else in. One of our, we had somebody out on loan. Uh, he's finishing in November, and to be perfectly honest, I'm not really wanting to play him. But uh, this guy comes in as a wing back. Uh, it looks very, very good indeed. We pick him up from York Nine. He's played in the League One Ontario Southeast Division in the lower leagues. Uh, it didn't have that great uh, season with uh, York Nine, but he did play 25 games though, so it's not bad on that part. Good physicals. And uh, there's a lot of greens in there. He's going to improve. His ability has improved one hell of a lot. He's uh, gone up by half a star, which is uh, which is fantastic. The next one is Nico Pasquati. Uh, another free transfer. Right winger this time. Someone to help out Garcia. And I've probably inadvertently got more right wingers than left. Yeah, it's uh, probably not a great move on my part. But, you know, you can never have enough right wingers, I guess. The left hand side is very slim. Very, very slim and very thin, actually. Thin's a better word for it. Not slim. Thin. Thin, slim. Thin, slim. Well, whatever. We haven't got anybody on the left-hand side. But uh, this guy here, he looks absolutely phenomenal. He's already played uh, some games with us already, as you can see. Uh, Stats-wise, I mean, 8.5, 9.4, 7.84. And average overall is 8.95. He's uh, playing phenomenally at the minute. We Brit pick him up from Calvary. Calvary were willing to let him go for free. So I said, thank you very much. We'll take him off your hands. Next one, Will Will Little. Uh, yeah, like I said, right wingers. Um, we got another one. We originally picked this guy up first uh, and then we went for Pasquati. 
but uh, this guy's a pr reasonably good as well. He's he's done the job again, not as great, but I think a, a very good backup of Garcia. I'm wanting to bring more in centrally or place him up on top as well because we're short of a forward as well. We pick him up from Swope Park. He's played in the Western and Eastern Conference, and uh, I'm assuming that's MLS, maybe. I'm not so sure. Uh, had a good season there. Five goals, six assists, 42 games. Uh, you could argue that's not a great season, but um, I thought he played reasonably well. And uh, already he's reaching seven rating. And then we pick up this one. Uh, I couldn't resist. Uh, it was from our rivals, Edmonton. He had to be good, right? Um, yeah, he's not that bad, I guess. I think I made a blobby on this one. So he's going to... I might just stick him out on loan, really, to be fair. He comes from, originally from Toronto, down to Edmonton. Edmonton were obviously happy to offload him, so he did. And uh, £550 a week. Yeah, it's quite excessive, really, for someone for a backup to the backup to the backup. We're going to use him now and again when uh, we've got nobody on the right-hand side. And this is the kind of depth we want on the left-hand side. But because our restrictions to 23 plays in a squad, we can't do it. So, which is a real pain in the ass. So, depending how it does, we might send him out on loan to see what happens. But uh, for the time being, we're going to stick with him. And, uh, well... If anybody comes in knocking on the door, then uh, yes, we'll we'll let him move on to unloan something. But uh, I was quite pleased to get him originally because he was from Edmonton, and Edmonton do produce very, very good players. Apart from that, they were the only signings we made. It's um, been very poor. It's been very quiet, and we haven't been able to uh, make any inroads into anything really. We're overspending on the wages by about three grand. I mean, pff, yeah, it's quite a bit. Um, we got one point seven, one point eight in the bank. Which isn't too bad. And as you can see, our transfer budget is 1.6. Uh, which is a lot. So, I mean, I could adjust the wage budget to about 19. So, that brings it down to 1.5. You know what? I'll do that. It looks tidy. So, 1.4. trans. We, we're not going to be able to spend that. that. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. Let's have a look at what we've done so far. And... Um, well, actually, let's have a look at Club Vision first of all. First of all, uh, everybody's quiet, please. New co contract complete. Yeah, we've signed a new contract, obviously. And um, do not sign players over the age of 30. We can't do that, really. Uh, play, play high tempo pressing football with the please with that. Work within the budget. Now we are. <laughs> uh, reach the North American League, North American Champions League minimum. Uh, please, so far. I mean, I think we're already in that. I'm sure we are. Through winning the championship last season. Um, challenge for the Canadian Premier League. Well, we're not doing that. We're in the Islands League. Finish in the top half. It's very confusing what's happened. Fin reach the Canadian Championship proper. I think we've already done that. And reach the Canadian... Pre yeah, it's um, it's very, very confusing how and all this is um, coming about. Look at that! Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, we played friendlies right up to June. Where is the league games, you're asking? I've got no idea. I haven't got a clue. We started our first competitive game uh, middle of June. So we've had literally half a year where we've done nothing. We've just played friendlies. It's very bizarre. But at the moment, we're, we're in the Canadian Championship um semi-finals i think we are we've drawn toronto so we're not done too bad so if we take you through it we played uh celtic do who rishulu but we smashed a nine nil at home i mean that was um we were it was this we were about six nil up at half time i think we were and it was disappointing that we didn't manage it to get double figures i was uh very disappointed but we did uh, get double figures over the two legs two nil away from home uh, they did put up a fight, though, I have to admit, in the second leg. But it was just no to no avail. But I think we may have got the manager sacked. I think that was uh, that's what happened, especially after the 9-0 spanking. Straight into the quarterfinals, uh, we played Vancouver, a very tight 1-1 affair. Uh, we had to rely on Morelli to score an equaliser in the 47th minute, straight after half-time. Two minutes, the start of each half was a goal, and that was about it. But second leg... We did hit them 2-0. Marshall scoring two fantastic goals. We had our first game in the uh, North American League preliminary round uh, legs. Uh, we smashed Communications. I think that... Or commu Communications. Um, I do apologise how that's spelled. Uh, but we smashed them 6-2 in the first leg. And then had a very, very tight 1-1 draw 
in the uh, se um, second game. But we do go through overall. So this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So we're going to start off today against York FC. We're in the Canadian League Islands game. So the so the class in this is the Canadian Premier League, but it's the Island games. Um, I'm still confused. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Rawlins, um, you play the group stage. So the top four go into the group stages in the Island game group stage. Then the top two go to the final. But at this point, uh, the top two teams qualify the championship final, oh, clear, which is, must be this one. And then the winner goes to the North American first round. Yeah, again, like what we did before and like what we're in now. So we only play each person once. So what we might do in this particular season, we'll, um, we'll play each game, I guess. Right then, here we go. Then, uh, as you can see down the sides, we've got about 12 people on the bench or something like that. Uh, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, twelve. So we're allowed twelve subs. That's virtually our size. So our first eleven, twelve on the bench. So all twenty-three man squad is available, and you can pick up to I think it's five subs as well, which is absolutely amazing. So if everything goes a little bit pear-shaped, we can um, we can just change it. Right, we're going to start off with Bailu in goal. He hasn't changed. Donut comes in on the right hand side. We've got Charlotte, Jeff Rodder, Kanubi on the left. Um, Kanubi, we haven't got anybody else that can play on the left hand side. Dona can take that mantle, and then we can bring in a Respreto. Uh, we can bring in Restrepo in on the right hand side if need be. Uh, Rampasad and Louis continue in the centre. We haven't really managed to get anybody else that can play there. Uh, Cream can play there, obviously, but that is about it. We can't bring anybody else in. Oh, Fish is available actually. Uh, I didn't realise he could have come straight in, but I think he's just coming back from injury actually. To be fair, Pasquati. He's going to play on the right hand side. Marshall on the left. Yeah, we've got Ricky and uh, Riggy and Bent. Uh, they're not quite as fit as what Marshall is. We've got Garcia in the centre, and then we've got Morelli up front. Morelli, he's just an absolute beast. He really is. And Marshall's doing pretty well as well. For four assists already. Pasquati, four goals. Uh, everybody's scoring goals. It's uh, it's good to see. Uh, they're going 4-4-2. We're away from home. Let's uh, try this. for. Uh, I think we're going to the attacking uh, Canadian formation. It's an evening kickoff as well. It's a half past seven in the evening. On the uh, 12th of August, I think it is. As um, We've had a couple of opportunities already. And uh, Bailu is going to have the goal kick. He's hopefully going to find a blue shirt. He think he did. Charles, then to Dona and... Uh, Pasquati now has the ball, then plays it into Garcia. Garcia with a lovely ball to Morelli, who's on. Wow, flipping heck, 11, 12 minutes in, and we've got a goal already. That's his fifth goal of the season. His first one in the, in the Ireland games. I mean, are these, uh, is this like another spring, autumn season? It's just odd that we're just playing them once. It really is. Um, so the seasons are very short. There's a lot of cup competitions if you go through them. But, um, but yeah, half a season where we've just, like January to June, we've just wasted. Garcia with a free kick and we're tuning it up. Jeff Rod, we're continuing our fine form from pre-season. Uh, there's no two ways about it. The worst thing is we haven't been able to improve the side that much. Garcia, we've managed to move into the centre. Markovic, we've just, we're trying to offload. We, we can't, so I might send him out on loan. Uh, Dona on the right hand side, finds a bit of room, Morelli sneaks it in, sixth goal of the season, we're three in a lot, we're coasting it, we are coasting it, we're having a lot of fun, and uh, wow, are we under construction or something, it appears that we're under construction, I'm just, um, just going to pause it a second, I'm just going to go to data analysis, what's happening here? Uh, oh, it's not our stadium, actually. That looks pretty nice. What's that, a hotel? Is that a oh, it's a car park, actually. A couple of car parks. Weird. There's nowhere for any fans to be. Hmm. That's very interesting indeed as we go back to director and we'll press play. So, good cross. Morelli stands back and gets his head behind the ball. Beautiful goal. 3 nil up. Coasting it. I don't think there's anything more to say about this side. It's a pretty damn good side. We always start off well at the beginning of the seasons and then we kind of struggle towards the end as we saw last season. But uh, with our uh, appearances in the cup latter stages of the cup competitions, uh, we're doing relatively well. So we might bring in a couple of more substitutes, give them some game time. We're going to bring in Goss Marshall into the centre. We're going to bring Corey Bent. 
I mean, Cora Bent on the left hand side. If we can take him out, put Fisher in, and then we might be able to bring in Will Little. Give him a look. No, still more foreign players on the pitch. So who's the foreign players? This is where it gets a little bit confusing. I could do. Uh, Marshall is a foreign player, apparently. I'll bring in Markovic. He isn't. Now we should be able to bring him in. Right, okay. Very confusing. And uh, where's our forward? He's uh, He must be injured. I don't think there's anybody else that could play. Right, okay. Four subs. Should be uh, should be okay. We'll agree with that. And uh, Right, okay. That was a little bit confusing. I could do with something telling me they're foreign or not. Louis with a free kick. Who's going to get this one? Charles. He should have um, smashed that one in, actually, to be perfectly honest. We tried to go all Canadian. It wasn't to be, though, to be fair. And uh, that goes over as well into uh, oblivion, by looks of things, behind the goal. Five minutes to go. It was relatively straightforward victory. Three points in the bag. We're lying top of the table. It's the first game as well as uh, another highlight. And uh, York come at us once more, finishing off with the rally. Uh, we should have intercepted that. Not impressed. But we do clear it away. Not very far, though. But that should be game over. Uh, maybe one last chance. Who for? I was hoping it was for, for us. But uh, as you can see, we changed the players around. And it's uh, not really worked for us at all. Uh, Halley comes forward. Yeah, it's a tight angle. Wasn't going anywhere. Didn't even trouble the goalkeeper. As uh, we start our campaign in the Ireland games with a victory. Uh, we've only got six games remaining. I think. Who knows? It could uh, it could be more than that, but I, I I don't think it is. But yeah, we start off with a very very fine win. Excellent effort, guys. Well played. There's a lot of uninterested and complacency happening in the side, but um, at the moment we are one nil. Montreal beat uh, Atletico Ottawa in the semi-final first leg, so they've already played their game. So it looks like we could uh, Montreal looks like they could be going to the final as it stands at the minute. Uh, Joel uh, Morelli. Excellent play. We only played the one game. We've gone uh, a little bit longer than I expected. Uh, we've got Calvary, Valor, Toronto. We'll play each game this season. We may as well uh, see what happens. Um, it could be a very, very short season. So if you enjoyed that, please pop a like on there. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.